How should you toilet train your puppy? Some young puppies will learn to defecate in the place that you choose from a very young age. However, some may take much longer. As with everything, all dogs will learn at different paces, but there are ways to accelerate this process. After around two weeks of consistent toilet training, a pattern will start to become established. However, it can take longer. The secret is to stay calm and consistent. This can happen at eight weeks old, or if you are inconsistent, it will continue for several months to come. If that happens, your dog surely won't be the one to blame. A strict routine will help your dog, as well as yourself, predict when it's time to go to the toilet. You need to spend enough time with your dog to create a sort of solidarity. If you can understand that a newborn baby takes a couple of years to learn to control their balls, you can surely understand that a puppy might need few weeks at least. You really can't blame the puppy for a mistake. Your puppy is not doing this to annoy you, he is simply trying to understand how life works, where to go to the toilet and how to get there in time. You really play a big part in this process, if not the biggest one. For owners with no direct access to a garden, I suggest using a real grass mat. That can be used on a balcony, on a terrace or even indoors. Using real grass will also help puppies to easily link the toilet to a park, where he will find the same texture to use as a toilet. Otherwise, many puppies will learn to hold the pee until they get back home and then release where they're used to. A real grass mat helps dogs to prefer the grass instead of other textures and it is naturally perceived as ideal, therefore the grass will have to carry the smell of a toilet already. You can simply rub the grass with the previously used training pad and you should do this every time you replace the grass mat or the pad. A secret recipe for a successful and quick house training. Now I will introduce a technique that I personally developed and constantly improved throughout the years. It is very effective if followed consistently. In some cases, puppies have been house trained in less than a week, but don't expect this result by default. You need to keep your new pup inside until they have had their second vaccination. However, this doesn't mean the training can start before then. Rather than choosing plastic puppy training pads, I recommend my clients buy a real grass mat, soil-free dog toilet that can be used inside in a tray. A training dog, we normally recommend Piddle Patch. This teaches the puppy right from the start only to toilet on grass and not on textiles. It's also more eco-friendly. Puppy pads can take up to 500 years to degrade in landfill. Place the real grass mat or puppy pad in a suitable place in the house or on a terrace. However, you need to be consistent and leave it in the same place to ensure house training will work. Don't confuse your puppy by moving it around and making it difficult to find. Always rub a used pad on a new one to help your puppy recognize it is a possible toilet. Find a very tasty treat that your puppy will adore. I normally recommend the bacon treats that come in long and soft strips. Use the special treats only when toilet training your puppy. Keep the treats in a plastic container near the spot you choose, ready to be picked up. Every two hours, but especially 15 minutes after every activity, such as eating, sleeping or playtime, take your puppy to where they need to toilet using a lead and ensure the lead will be short enough to avoid them roaming around. Make the moment extremely boring, say nothing but keep an eye on your pup, avoiding eye contact. When puppies have nothing else to do, they are more likely to pee. When the pee is nearly done, start praising your puppy with a lot of excitement and a high-pitched voice. You can actually repeat a word of your choice to create a command to pee on cue in the future, such as pee pee, good pee pee or go toilet. While praising your puppy, pick up a bacon treat, break it into very tiny pieces and give them a shower of treats, at least 12 or more, one by one, to create a jackpot effect. That jackpot effect, plus the special treat used uniquely for house training, will help the puppy understand when and why they received that special treatment. This association will soon invite the puppy to use only the designated place to relieve themselves and will also help them to hold on when necessary to grant the special reward. If the puppy poops it, it's fine to praise them, but don't give them treats to avoid making the association between food and poop, as this can lead to the puppy eating poop. 
This method will work as long as you are consistent. Many of my clients have successfully toilet trained their puppies in a week or so using this method. Also keep in mind these important points about house training. Until house training works with minimal accidents, confine the space that you give your puppy to roam around in. Never let your puppy simply wander throughout the house or he will wander to the other end of the house and use it as a toilet. The far end of your house will seem like a million miles away from his bed. Close doors to limit his space where possible or use a pan if necessary. Make sure that any mistakes indoors are cleaned up very well with an enzymatic cleaner. This breaks down the urine and fecal matter, not just the scent. Similarly, a good clean out of the crate, blankets and bedding can help to break a toilet in the crate cycle by removing any scent. If you have a garden or a terrace, you can use hanging bells attached to the door handle. Your puppy will look outside and unintentionally touch the bells. The sound of the bells is the signal for you to open the door and when your puppy will make the association, then he will know how to tell you when it is time to go to the toilet. If your puppy makes a mistake and you see him doing it without scaring him, clearly say no, then pick your puppy up and take him outside to the right spot. If you turn your puppy off, then it is very likely the next time your puppy will think I must relieve myself out of the sight of my owners or I will get told off if they see me. Now you will have a puppy who goes and hides to relieve himself. If you just turn your puppy off for doing this on the carpet, then you still haven't shown him where to go. Next time he will simply try somewhere else. If a puppy could talk, he would ask, show me where I can go then. Remember that some impulsive actions you might take will work against you. Never use physical punishment such as smacking when a dog goes to the toilet in the wrong place, as this will just make the dog more secretive and difficult to house train. Nor does rubbing your dog's nose in what he has done. This will teach the dog only one thing, that the owner can be very weird. If you find the mess that your dog has done earlier, you must not punish him, even verbally. Always be patient, because he can't make an association to an event happened in the past. You have no longer than 3 seconds to act. If you don't have the time, just accept that mistakes can happen. When you clean up, try to avoid strong smelling cleaners like bleach or pine scented disinfectant. This can mark the place with a strong smell that encourages the dog to use it as a toilet. Instead, use odorless cleaner after you have thoroughly cleaned the area with soapy water spray and enzymatic cleaner. As I just said, mistakes will happen and your dog will occasionally soil in the house until fully house trained. 